So, hello everyone, welcome back, or I can say fellow scratchers, today it is part 3 of our 3D maze, so this is what we made for progress over here, till now, let's take a run through of what we made yesterday and day before yesterday. The dynamic duo. Oops, we, we I forgot to hide this. But don't worry, that'll be hidden. So we made this start button like this. And we made this maze. But the coding we did was not working, and the sprite was not going into it. So for the solution is there. We made a script in which the player would move, but we were not able to move the player. So for that, we're gonna add a forever block in this. And let's try it now. Let's see now. Oh, yay! That works now! It works now. Quite nice. I can get out of this. And you see that the script and the hitbox that we added had, had all had worked very nice. It's quite nice, you know? We can just go like this. And the script, this script over here, if it is touching the level, then uh, the, the change Y and X position will just glide through it. So see that? Quite like this. Quite nice. Quite nice. Quite nice. Now we have done all the coding for the player sprite. You can see there are 77 blocks right here. So now we're gonna make a new sprite. The sprite will be a new paint sprite. That will be our raycaster. All the scripts will be in only the Raycaster sprites. So let's make one. So it will be a 4x4. Four four. So we're going to take the rectangle tool. I'll, I love to take the green fill. I'm going to take that. This kind of color. Well, red, pure. Yellow, pure. Let's start. Holding the shift key. We're going to make a nice square. It's of 8x8. Eight eight. Let's zoom in. Holding the shift key. So this would be a ray caster. Okay. <coughs> so this is the script that we'll add in the ray caster sprite and name this as a ray caster. This is the first script. The red flag click script. So make sure that the raycaster is in a square form and it is a 4x4. Four four. You can see over here, right? In the raycaster, 4x4. Four four. And make sure it snaps in the middle. Yeah, like that. Simple. So I'm gonna come back in the code and we need the main projection. Of the screen so let's make that but first we have to make a 3d projection so for that we're going to utilize the pen extension this one let me show you again the, the bottom left corner will be an add extension button and we're gonna click on the second one which will be the pen extension 
So here, a new set of blocks to play with. Very nice. I love it. So, we're gonna not use this, but we're gonna make a new custom block first. Which will be named as Raycast. I'm gonna run without the screen, refresh, and click on OK. Okay, now we have this define raycast block over here. Now I wanna make a new variable, which will be named as the X. X for all sprites. Okay, we have this X. I mean, not for all the sprites, so for only this sprite. So I'm going to delete the X and make a new one for this sprite only. Okay, Raycaster X. Or, you can even just have a little bit of helping sensation. Oops. I got to the wrong tab. Sorry about that. I just made another mistake. This is actually for all sprites. So delete it again. Okay. So sorry for that. Delete the X variable. Make an X for all the sprites. Yep, that's how we should do. Now I'm gonna set the X. I'm gonna set the X to with a multiplication, sorry, a subtraction block in. I'm gonna add 240 because Scratch's display screen is 240 pixels wide. And we're gonna add the res with the division block inside, inside of the subtraction block. I'm gonna add a res in here. Add a res right here and a two right here. Now we're gonna make a new variable which we named as scan lines for this sprite only. Okay, we're gonna set the scan lines. Sorry, the scan lines to 480 divided by res 480 divided by the res 480 divided by the res variable nice now we're gonna add a repeatable we're gonna get a repeat block uh, not repeat until a repeat 10 block. In the 10, we're gonna add scan lines, right, like this, right here. And then we're gonna add a point in direction block. Point in direction with a pull, an addition block. An addition block. And we're gonna add camera door here. We're gonna add the attan <coughs> going to operators. The last block of the operators apps is for attan of x divided by dv of of x divided by dv. Make sure that x is in the first one and dv is in the second because in division, if they get anyone mixed, they can cause a very big problem. So, make sure of that. So, right now, I am going to make a new block a new block the new block will be it's quite long but 
I sure I'm sure you can do it. You make draw by an input type another label with at x then an input with x sorry x with a label distance with an input distance so it's quite long just look at it and you can copy one without the screen refresh click on ok now we've got this script over here I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make three lists those lists are going to be draw type for all sprites draw type draw x for all sprites and draw dist for distance draw dist also for all sprites now we're gonna take the define draw or draw type at x block and get three of these add add thing to blocks from the list and I'm gonna add each draw type draw X and draw a dist in the first draw type we're gonna add the type and then the draw X to the X and the draw dist to distance now I'm gonna take an if condition sorry if condition like this and take a greater than block a greater than block and in the first one let's add the item of I'm gonna add the item one of any okay and I'm gonna add the subtraction block add in the subtraction block inside of here I'm gonna add uh, make a new variable which will be draw index it's gonna be draw index oops what's happening with me oh I forgot it's I'm in the wrong play position again oh quite clumsy oh I cannot go to back all right draw sorry draw index for all the sprites now I'm gonna add the draw index over here and add one over here we're gonna we're gonna add the distance right over here in the fear okay. now I'm gonna add a, a for change the draw index change the draw index by mm, by one but if we have the if condition over here if not the if condition but a repeat until we're gonna add the same script which is over here but we're gonna take less than block this time less than and copy duplicate the script and put it in here and just put another distance block and then change the draw index by minus one draw index by minus one okay so now we're gonna come over to a new block which will be a define single ray block define sorry single ray we're gonna run without the screen refresh click on ok so we have a brand new block let's Let's dive into it. 
now we're gonna go to the motions block and get to go to player block the player block or the player sprite sorry I'm gonna add a repeat until let's add two of them repeat until touching the level let's repeat until touching level not a level color level then we have to move two steps take the move two steps now if we are touching the level then it should bounce back but if we are not touching the level then move minus 0 0.5 steps so let's add that touching level operators not put this over here not touching level then move zero minus 0 0.5 steps move minus 0 0.5 steps zero not two five five steps okay now we're gonna make a new block which will be distance not block a variable for this fight only okay now i want to go to set distance to distance to player go to take this block we're gonna add the dis player of the thing. the distance oh sorry this is not the block this one distance to player now we're gonna add another set distance set the distance to a multiplication by multiplication by the distance the distance multiplied by the cos by the cos cos of distance subtracted by the camera door by the distance in the motion block sorry not direction sorry direction subtract by the camera door here now let's add an if condition if then else condition beneath if then else then if touching level color if we are touching the level color not level level color level color then we're gonna go to the my block section and take out this draw at part and snap in the first one we're gonna take 58 we're gonna take 58 okay 58 add the x by the x by the distance we're gonna add the distance over here and then we're gonna uh, add the same here adds the duplicate and i'll have the 53 53 now we have made now we have to come back to the define raycast script define raycast script we're gonna add a single ray block beneath the point in direction and then the change x by the res change X by res. Now let's come to another block, which will add all add all the brightnesses. 
we're gonna come to the events block and say when I receive the raycast. The raycast that we broadcasted in the player sprite. Now we have made a block which is raycast. So the first block should be raycast. Raycast. Okay. We're gonna go to the pen block and go to the set pen brightness. We're gonna set the pen brightness to a subtraction block. Yeah, it's quite, you know, weird because in a pen extension there is also math, so. But if you want to do it, we have to do hard work. Now I'm gonna add the division block. A division block by distance. Distance divided by 1.7. You can play with these numbers later on. Now I'm gonna add to a set height variable. H E I G H T height variable for all sprites. We have a height variable. Oh, we are not getting the height variable. You see, we don't get any height. We did get it here, but we did not get it here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's add the set the height. Let's set the height to ten by the multiplication. Ten multiply by ten multiply by dv divided by the distance. Divide dv by the distance. Now let's save this right now. Save to your computer. Desktop, save. Now, Let's close this. Let's leave this right here. And open another scratch. Scratch three, let's open it again. Because the height block was not showing, so I had to save it and then refresh. Now let's open it. Load from your computer. Uh oh, I Yes, I did actually. We gotta find. Very fiddle. Here we go. Let's open this. Come back to the Raycaster sprite. Let's see if we have the height variable. Yes, we have it. So let's continue with the work. When I receive Raycaster sprite. Okay. So let's look at it right here. So let's add the other block right 